I'm Sarah Fragani with Kins 5 News. Now, the recent heat wave has a San Antonio school district alerting parents, teachers and staff as students begin school activities. Northeast ISD says they don't mess around when it comes to heat and they want everyone to recognize the signs of heat related illnesses. Symptoms include headaches, dizziness, heat cramps, heat exhaustion and loss of consciousness. We can have more time outdoors in the morning versus the afternoon. And then in the afternoon, we all go indoors and then practice music. Hydration is key. And if you're going to be out there, try to stick to water and avoid sodas and juices. Now, school hasn't started at Northside ISD and some teachers already are being schooled. The district held a new teacher academy at Brandeis High School where they welcomed 750 new teachers. Some are coming to the district straight out of college, some from other districts. In just two weeks, 100,000 students will return to Northside ISD. Classes begin Monday, August 19th. A man accused of setting explosive booby traps at car wash bathrooms is now in jail facing charges of arson. Investigators said 46-year-old Paul Alden is connected to three incidents at two San Antonio wash tubs. Court documents state he placed small commercial fireworks under toilet seats, producing small explosions when pressure is applied. A little girl and two women reported injuries when using the toilets. Police say security camera helped identify Alden. What started as a jewelry sale ended in a man being shot on the east side. Police say two men picked up the 19-year-old around 10 last night near Fort Sam Houston, and at some point they tried to rob him and take his jewels. When he fought back, police say he was accidentally shot in the leg by one of the guys. The suspects pushed him out of the car, drove off, and they have not been found. The 19-year-old was taken to the hospital. An apartment complex resident says they saw everything after a 12-year-old girl was thrown out of a car landing in their parking lot. Me and my son ran outside and that's when I saw a little girl's body right here next to my vehicle on the, in a fetal position right here and I realized that uh, she flew out from a car accident. The driver was on I-37 and Southeast Military when he lost control, left the highway and crashed into the fence of the complex. According to police, 18-year-old George Gino Gomez was racing another car. Police say neither Gomez nor the 12-year-old girl were wearing seat belts. He was arrested and now faces charges. San Antonio ISD wants your feedback as it navigates how to best utilize 19 properties while helping students. The district's right-sizing plan closed 15 schools last year to combat declining enrollment. Those schools and five properties will now be repurposed. SAISD says it will still own the buildings to benefit children and can help nonprofits use them at a low cost. However, a decision has not been made. Right now, they're asking organizations to submit proposals on how to use the vacant buildings. Trying to make the best decisions for the entire community, um, and they're not they're not easy. That's not something that's going to happen overnight. And so we will continue to update. We will continue to engage and collaborate. The president of the Federal Reserve Bank of Chicago is trying to reassure investors after recession fears caused days of market chaos. The Dow Jones dropped more than a thousand points on Monday in its worst day in two years. But don't expect an emergency Fed meeting to cut rates. He says it's not the panel's job to pump up the stock market. The Fed's job is very straightforward. Maximize employment, stabilize prices and maintain financial stability. If the conditions collectively start coming in that on the through line, th there's deterioration on any of those parts, we're going to fix it. The Fed has another meeting scheduled in about six weeks and it could cut rates then. The man accused of killing a former local TV account executive is entering into a plea deal and the victim's mom says this is not justice. It felt like a wave of a disappointment. Uh, feels like it doesn't like a true justice, I can say. Um. The mom says she wants the judge to give him the maximum sentence. 20-year-old Sebastian Hernandez faces up to 32 years in prison. Hernandez pleaded no contest on Monday. He's accused of stabbing Chris Olivares to death at his Southside home in September 2021. Police say Hernandez's DNA was found on the murder weapon. His sentencing is scheduled for October 1st. 
Picking up a Chick-fil-A meal for lunch today could get you free school supplies. The fast food chain says it's trying to help families cut back on school shopping expenses. The deal is happening today from 3 to 8 p.m. or while supplies last at the Chick-fil-A on Seguin Road. Customers who buy a menu item of $10 or more are qualified to receive a backpack that contains tons of supplies like crayons, notebook paper, markers, glue sticks, folders, scissors, and much more. They're giving away 500 backpacks and coupons for a free kids meal. And that is Kids 5 News Now. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Sarah Fergani.